Hi and welcome everyone to our last course in electrical engineering, which is the automatic control theory. In this course, we would like to understand how can I design a controller for a specific system that uses or applies a certain control signal to get a certain output. So in order to do this, we have three steps that we are going to do. Step number one, which is finding the mathematical modeling of the system. So first, we transform our system into several equations in the S domain. Not in the time domain, but in the S domain using Laplace transform. And we will see this inside the course and what does Laplace transform even mean. All of this, we will understand it more clearly inside the course. And then by transforming the system into the S domain, we will be able to convert it into one of two forms. One, we can represent our system in the form of a block diagrams, and then we can also represent it in the form of a signal flow graph. Now, in these two methods, we are going to minimize our system or reduce our system into a more simpler form. This can be done by several techniques, which we will see inside our course, in order to find a relation between a certain input and a certain output. Then, by understanding that system or having one block diagram representing the whole system, we will start applying different types of inputs, including a impulse input, an impulse input, a step function, ramp function, and we will see what is our system or what the behavior of our system, how our system behaves in these different scenarios. So we will investigate for the stability of the system. So we will say, hey, is our system stable or is it unstable? And in order to investigate for the stability, which is step number two, we have to use one of different techniques. One of these techniques is the Rowes Horowitz criterion and we have also the root locus, which focuses on uh, changing a certain proportional gain and investigating for the stability of the system. Another way is to look for or using the Nyquist criterion, which we will discuss in details inside our course. And then we would like to, in the end, design our controllers like compensators, including lag compensator, lead compensator, and we can also design our PID controllers using different techniques. These techniques include the Ziegler-Nichols method, and we also have using a TSO or a certain optimization algorithm. All of this can be will be discussed in detail inside our course. Not only this, but we will also have a section for frequency response. In frequency response, we are looking for giving our system a sinusoidal input and then investigating how it will behave, how much gain it will take and how much phase shift it will have. Now, in order to do this, we have two methods that we are going to use, the polar plot and the body plot. These two methods, we are going to see them. We will learn the stability, margins, phase margin, and the gain margin, and we will also see how can we design compensators using body plot. So this is a large course which will contain several sections, and in the end of this course, you will have a good or a very good background regarding the automatic control theory. So if you are an electrical engineer, or undergraduate engineer and you are interested in learning the basics or the theory behind automatic control then this course is for you thank you and see you in our course for automatic control